What up, guys? We're back. We got the upper end, upper oil pan with the turbo return line back here. Got the Wix oil filter back on. Um, did the front uh, crank seal, rear main. Now let's start playing with the upper. Uh, we're gonna take off this, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, bypass your throttle body. If you're in like in the southern states, you don't need it. But you're in the upper. I don't know if you guys drive here or not in the summertime. I mean the winter time. So let's do, start taking it off. You can grab some pliers. And you can decide which side you want to use. I'm gonna use this side. I'm gonna remove the clamp from this side. Pull that down. Not that doesn't come out yet. Grab you guys if you want. You can use a screwdriver. I got a little pick, so go. Pull that out, and uh, now I need to take this off with the fly hat screwdriver. Let's see if it's an eight millimeter. It's an eight millimeter. Garbage truck juice here. Beach it dollar suda. But well, it is what it is, so grab my pick. that out I don't know which one's longer this one seems longer oh that will work just fine so I'm just gonna be using the factory clamps that's how you bypass your coolant from your throttle body so it's no re it's not restricting flow all right I'm gonna start taking off the these hoses all right we're gonna start taking off the bell covers they're all 10 millimeters and i just figure out this one is missing i don't know if it's missing or broken so we're gonna start taking that off now i'm gonna separate it with the came out pretty simple pretty easy Now something came off. What? Okay, this is more nastier than mine. So port maintenance probably. Pull this out. And I don't know if you guys can see that. The bolt is broken definitely inside of it. The thing is, I could probably take it out. Let's just remove the other side right now. Let's start removing this one. See how bad this side is. Yeah, you can see right here, it's all torn. Oh. Fucking sludge. Not like it's not horrible, but it's still dirty. I'm gonna start taking off all the gasket off right now. Alright, I'm gonna start taking off the cam gear. I use a one uh, inch uh, wrench, so broke it off. It's pretty tight. You can leave that one on. Bring this one back like that a little bit. Let's, let's go grab this side. Let's see, 
I could put this one out. Just like that. Start removing it. Don't be like me. Thank God I didn't fucking bust up my hand. Yeah, I'm going to replace the seal on it. Alright, guys. <laughs> Yeah. At least I didn't bust my hand. <laughs> Make sure that's nice and loose. So you can tell this person needs a lot to be our TV. Honestly, let's remove that. I want to make sure before. It doesn't look like it's leaking. I'm just gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave these alone. If they ain't leaking, don't fix it. So let's start looking at the other side. There's the only other seal is this one. I'm gonna start removing that. Let's grab a ten. I remove the two tens, put the bracket in the side, and I grab this uh, sensor, grab my plastic camera, a couple of taps to it. I don't see any oil in here in the housing. That's, that's a good sign. All right, guys, we're not gonna mess with this. So the only thing I'm going to be missing is with this part, I need to, I need to look online for this crap because the, the grooves is not going to seal right. And now I got to start cleaning all this crap off. You see that? So, And I'm pretty much sure that's pretty much it for it. Uh, let's take off the coil packs and they're uh, see these are This one and this one this is almost missing. I think these are 12s. Let's go grab the 12s Got this one there's one over here This one's a ton. This one's a definitely a ton. And this one over here is a ten. I removed it. So there's the tens right here. Remove there and here on the front. And leave that off. Uh, let me grab my light. And definitely you can see oil over here in this area. We're going to clean it up. And then that is pretty much it for today. So let me start cleaning it up right here. Start removing these tens right here. 
luckily the fell probe kit doesn't come with these half moon looking gaskets, taco looking things, or half eating cookies. Um, so, start removing this. Tap this away. Oh, oh boy. Boy. Mess it up. Start removing this one. Clean this out. Uh, I'm going to go on the uh, bench grinder wire wheel right here. Clean this out. If you guys can see that. A clean wire brush that I'm gonna put it back on. Oh yeah, and I put a little oil on the cam itself. And these are supposed to be at uh, 11 to 12 foot pounds. I'll do that in a in a bit. I grab my little hammer. Tap this in. Nice and flush as I can. All right, she's nice and flushed in. I'm gonna grab my torque wrench. Got the torque wrench at 11. You can do 12. I'm just gonna set these up. And there you go. So now I need to order all these. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, night, weekend. Where you guys are from? Just drive safe and stay dirty.